The cemetery. Last stop before... I don't know. Oblivion? Grandfather said the pull of death was irresistible. But some force had pulled me back. He said when the powerful need you dead, you must die one way or the other. I had become a problem. He put the word out that I had died of my injuries. I say that whatever pulled me back from death hadn't brought me the whole way. Everything had a certain brilliance and strangeness about it. Grandfather had told my dad, who lived just outside of town in a shack on his own tract of land, to stay and keep an eye on things. The two of them had cooked something up between them. I was to meet Grandfather at a beachhead inside the reservation. We were making pretty good time when Goldie came to a halt and couldn't be persuaded to take another step. Rosie started acting up. Oh, there it was. I felt its heat before I saw it. It looked like someone standing behind a fire. And then I noticed it was in the fire and it wasn't a person. I got down and prayed. Don't know the last time. Don't know to whom or what. It was instant. I glanced up. I saw him coming for me. And I entered a dark place in my soul. He was on me before I knew it. He was all business. An unrelenting barrage that quickly went from pain to paralysis. He didn't stop until all feeling and will had gone from me. In almost a state of serenity, I waited indifferently for the end. I was lifted up and carried. My ceremonial shirt and shield was torn off. I was thrown into the fire, but incredibly, I floated gently into it and sat in the midst of it. My skin wasn't scorched. But soon I felt all traces of my former self burnt away. I mourned the passing of Jack Savage. He was a good person who crossed the wrong people. And me, who was left, whoever that was, passed into unconsciousness. And then, it was morning, clear and fresh and beautiful. My senses were working overtime, and though I still didn't know just who I was and in what state I was in, I felt good, strong, ready. The beachhead where I was to meet Grandfather was just over the next hill. Okay. Let's see what happens next.